The garbage dump of Mbobos in Dakar may be an eyesore to some, but it's a haven to others due to its sheer size, covering over 70 hectares of land and receiving close to 1,300 tons of garbage daily. Mbobos is a land of opportunity. Thousands of collectors and recyclers, women, men and children alike, meet here every day and go about their business of sorting out plastics, metal and whatever else can be severed. Malik Diallo is one of the oldest waste pickers at the dump. His 30 years at the dump have earned him the top job as the head of the Recyclers Association. Someone said that nothing is lost, everything is transformed. We wait for the trucks to dump the waste, then we do the sorting on site to earn some money with what we recycle. For example, we can make some money out of plastic bags, out of scrap, chromium, steel and much more. It may be the source of livelihood for most of the collectors here. Recent statistics quote the economy from the Mbobos garbage dump to be about 7 million francs a year. However, health factors like the unsanitary conditions and harmful exposure to zinc and iron make it a big reason for worry for the people of Malika. We are tired. Over here, everybody is ill. The health authorities even came over to inform us that the tap water we are drinking is not of good quality. Now, before drinking water, we are obliged to add bleach, and all because of this garbage dump. All we ask for is that they relocate Mbel Mbels. We are tired of the smoke, we are also tired of the dust. Our children are ill, they have diarrhea and suffer from asthma. And we all are aware that smoke and asthma don't go together. Senegal has partnered with the World Bank in order to find a sustainable alternative to the garbage dump of Mbobos, as this site is soon expected to host a biogas plant. As a result of the analysis made, it has been confirmed to be an ecological bomb. As you can see through the images, there are fires caused by spontaneous combustion and those also caused by individuals. This naturally pollutes the atmosphere because there is a release of greenhouse gas. First, with this environmental disaster since 2007, the state of Senegal has decided to take up its responsibilities and initiate a process that will help manage negative environmental and social impacts. The government may have heeded calls to relocate the dump, but the search of a better and more viable solution for the dump site continues. Leslie Marungu. CCTV.